my name is Rebecca Roca. Here we are in the Humble Dojo at Valencia, Spain. I would like to share some interesting facts and some knowledge regarding Sumie Japanese painting. It is very hard to express when you don't feel. Meaning, an artist cannot drive, doesn't have emotion, doesn't have the atmosphere, doesn't have the feeling of what he or she wants to express. It's the same in the theater. Uh, the actor has to become a part of uh, that moment, and if you are not into it, you won't be able to express. You first need to feel, to sense, to touch, to hear, to see, to watch, to feel the environment, what surrounds you, to contemplate. If you don't contemplate, it will be difficult to understand and to analyze and to try to catch the sentiments of the moment. What makes sunset be so beautiful? What makes rain? What makes thunder feel so strong? What it has to be related to us, those moments of what we are feeling inside. I think Sumi can express very, very strongly the sentiments, the emotions in relation with us and nature. It's very poetic. It's like music. Firstly, the artist needs to feel. That's a very, very important law for Sumi painting. You need also, when you're painting, feel the brush. Become the brush. Become the ink. And feel the paper. The moment. To flow that energy into the piece of art you're painting. You have to become one. If you want to express, you have to be what you want to express. You cannot paint if you don't feel, if you don't have the touch of what you want to show because it won't reflect on the painting. 